Also developing a plan to fix Marion County Schools clears a major hurdle. A new six investigation uncovers serious issues at several schools in the district. And new six's Mark Lehman has the latest on possible solutions. Commissioners in Marion County voting on a plan aimed at improving outdated and deteriorating schools. By a unanimous vote, the commission forwarded a resolution to the supervisor of elections. That means a half cent sales tax question will appear on the general election ballot. We need a strong facility for our kids. Glenn Dunn is a former educator and says the money could go a long way. If voters approve the sales tax, it would be in place for 10 years. If we can uh, do anything to show and improve morale of teachers and administrators, I think that that would be very positive. The tax capital plan for this calls for a few things. Upgrading schools and facilities, acquiring land to build new schools, and reconstructing and improving current facilities. All of this with the goal of reducing portable classrooms as appropriate. If you look at the data of, again, the growth, but also our facilities, when you have about half of our facilities are over 50 years old, mm -hmm the cost of maintenance continues to climb. As a new six investigation uncovered, the superintendent says the money is badly needed. We've learned 80% of Marion County's school maintenance requests do not get fixed because they don't have the $840 million to do it. It's been 15 years since there's been a sales tax for our facility needs, and it's been 13 years since we've had impact fees mm -hmm. and since they were suspended. Record enrollment is also adding to the issue. The question now is will voters be on board with a plan to pay more in taxes to fix the problems? Something that's set to be decided in November. In Marion County, Mark Lehman getting results, News 6.